Keith, on behalf of the Incorporated Society of Musicians, it's my very great pleasure to present you with a Lifetime Achievement Award. And thank you for being an absolute inspiration to generations of musicians, artists, education professionals, and enabling so many young people, children and adults, to have a really, truly musical and meaningful experience of education. Well, thanks, Rosin. I'm, of course, very, well, I was very pleased and surprised to uh, receive this invitation to take the award, which I mistakenly thought was an end-of-life award and came with a one-way ticket to Zurich. But it isn't, I understand, it's an end of, I don't know, an end of a lot of little things. Nothing major, you know, a bit of politicking, a lot of writing, a good deal of thinking, a lot of music-making, and conversations with people in professions and in schools and so on. But I've always maintained a, a strong musical profile, which is what surprised me about this award, really. It comes from the Society of Musicians, not simply of educators or teachers. And I always played and sang and directed music all through. And uh, so in a way, I suppose, it's a summation of a lot of bits and pieces over many years. So thank you very much for that. And congratulations, because of course you have been a beacon to us all, but been very influential in the world of music and music education through the work you've done. Policy and practice has really been underpinned by your work. I think you are certainly one of the greatest thinkers and writers of music and music education in our time, a wonderful teacher and an outstanding musician as well. Many thanks, and please stop it now. I am. <laughs>